Let me put this SRP transceiver to this SRP slot. Now it's ready to connect the fiber optic cable. Hi guys, new case. The client needs to install a couple of IP cameras in this scenario. There's a control room with a network video recorder and a computer. He needs to install six IP cameras in the control room. This is the garage. It is about 150 meters between the garage and the control room. He needs to install four IP cameras in the garage. There are other two locations behind the garage, but he's not going to set up the cameras soon. He needs to complete the job between the garage and the control room. And he also wants to keep the camera system running for two or three months before he decides to install the cameras in these new locations. The system is not that complicated. Now let's move to the demonstration board and see how we can set up the network to connect the cameras in the control room and the garage. We are going to use the fiber optic cable to connect the device in the garage and the control room. It is about 150 meters. It's not really far. We still can use the Cat6 Ethernet cables to connect the device by adding the PoE extender. But remember the client also has other two locations behind the garage. If finally he decides to install the cameras in these new locations, then he needs to add multiple PoE extenders to connect these new locations to the control room. This is the pre-made fiber optic cable. The connector is being built in the factory with a pulling eye, so we can pull this cable over the conduits directly. It is the single mode LC type. We got two strands in the single fiber optic cable. Now we are going to add our first device, a port PoE switch. There's totally eight PoE ports. We can connect the cameras in the control room of this PoE port and also the network video recorder, the computer. These two are the SIP slot. It decides to work with the fiber optic cable. The SIP slot, just similar as the media converter. This is the media converter. We can consider this SIP slot is the media converter. We have two media converters built into this PoE switch. But the SIP slot is empty. We need another device called SIP transceiver to work with the fiber optic cable. Let me put this SIP transceiver to this SIP slot. Now it's ready to connect the fiber optic cable. Let's get one of these fiber optic cable and connect to this SIP slot. Meanwhile, I also need to power up this PoE switch. And the last step, let's connect this network video recorder to our PoE switch. There are two things I want to clarify. First, you may be wondering why we don't build the SAP slot with the media converter in one. So we don't need to install this SAP transceiver later. The reason is this SAP transceiver determines what kind of fiber optic cable we can use, either the single mode or the multi mode, and what kind of connector we can use, LC or SC. We can even use the special SFP transceiver like this one. It takes the different wavelengths to transmit and receive the data. We need just one fiber optic strand to build a network connection between the garage and the control room. It's more flexible to separate the SFP transceiver from the media converter. The second question people always ask is, can we connect a non-PoE device to this PoE switch? After all, this PoE switch can supply the PoE power over this KFIE or CAT6 Ethernet cable. Don't worry, the PoE device is the smart device. It has the power negotiation. Before this PoE switch sends the power to a device, it will detect and verify the edge device that require the power. Now we have connected this network video recorder which doesn't require the PoE power, right, to this PoE switch on this PoE port. It's still working. 
because this PoE switch will verify and realize this just a non-PoE equipment if it provides the data exchange without the PoE power. Now the setup is ready in the control room, let's move to the garage. The setup is pretty similar in the garage. We will use another 8 port PoE switch. First let me install the SFE transceiver so we can work with the fiber optic cable. And power up this PoE switch. Connect one fiber optical strand to this SFP transceiver. We took the strand 8 in the control room, we need to maintain the strand 8 in the garage. Now I use this short patch code to link PoE camera to one of the PoE port. Let's pick the port number 8. The indicator is on, which means this PoE switch sends the PoE power to our IP camera. Now the client also want to maintain the system expandable. He want to have this design ready and he determined to install the cameras in the new locations. He realized there's another SAP slot. He wants to connect the second location to this SAP slot by using the fiber of the cable. And then connect the other location to the next location. Eventually, you will have the data chain or this PoE switch. But we think this is not a good idea because the data chain caused a single failure point. Imagine, if this PoE switch failure, then he's going to lose all the cameras except the cameras in the control room. Is there any better solution? Let's move back to the control room. We don't recommend this daisy chain more than three switches together because of the single failure point. If you really have to connect multiple switches together, it's better to use the ERPS ring network topology. You need to connect the last switch to the first switch to have the backup path. In case one of the switch or the cable failure, the other switches will take the opposite path to return to the control room but all these switch need to support ERPS. In this setup scenario, we'll use the most simple network topology, star network topology. The client needs to pull four fiber optic cables from the control room to these locations. Or just pull one cable with four strands. Remember, one strand can handle one connection from one location. We ask the client to pull four fiber optic cables at the beginning when he's doing the job in the control room and the garage. Pulling four cables will not involve much extra labor costs. He can leave those cables in the new locations in case finally he decides to set up the IP cameras in these new locations. But now we are facing another issue. We don't have enough SAP slot. We only have two SAP slots, right? but we have four locations. One way is we can use this media converter to convert some of the Ethernet port to SAP slot to work with the fiber optic cables from these new locations. But we also quite short of the Ethernet port. We have six IP cameras, one network video recorder, and one computer. We also need to connect this switch to the router or modem to have the remote access to the whole systems. The client also maybe need to add some device in future. The solution is we will add one code switch. This code switch has 10 SAP slots. It can work with the fiber optic cables from 10 different locations. This is just the Ethernet port. It doesn't support the PoE, but we can connect the computers and the network video recorder to this Ethernet port. Now let's make the change. First, I'm going to power up this code switch. And I will switch this network video recorder to our code switch. We also need to remove the fiber optical strand from this PoE switch and connect to our code switch. And we do need to install the SAP transceiver. Let's pick the one of these 
a SAP slot and now we can connect it to our SAP transceiver then we install second SAP transceiver I think I just make a mistake you see the color is different the reason is because they do have the different wavelengths the PIDI transceiver needs to work in pair I mean which means the color on another side is blue it's green so I need to connect it to the blue that is the right weight now let me use this sharp patch coat to lint our switch in the control room to our code switch that will be it now we have connect two switch to our code switch and connect this never video recorder to our code switch if we do have the internet access from the ISP provider we can connect that cable to one of these ethernet port then we can have the remote access to the whole system all right that's all for today's video if you have any question please leave a message in the comment section below